The Bofin II is a mostly freestanding arch supported structure enhanced by two stakes to tension the vestibules and floor. To set up the Bofin II, pull the fabric out of the stuff sack. Lay it on the ground. Spread out a strut supported end. Now, lift the lever on the line tightener and pull the cording loop forward until the cross strut is tightly positioned and there are no gaps. Walk to the other end of the fly and repeat the same procedure. Now prepare the arch pole. Unfold sections and ensure that the pole is fully assembled and joints are fully seated. Insert the pole tip into a sleeve opening and push the pole all the way through the sleeve. Point downward so the pole tip slides under the apex cross strut. Now, insert a pole tip into the webbing pocket and tighten strap until excess is approximately 6 inches long. Repeat at the other end. Tighten the strap until the pole is firmly tensioned inside the sleeve. Pole end and strut ends should form a tripod on the ground. Stand the Bofin II up and place it on the ground in the direction you want to sleep. Now stake each vestibule. Adjust the positioning of each strut supported end for best pitch. The interior floor edge tensions out to the vestibule. For a quick exit, there is a small piece of Velcro along the right side vestibule edge, which can be stuck to a door tie up on the other side of the arch pole. Also, each vestibule rolls and ties back. You can also tension the floor separately with a rock or stake if you want to open the vestibule completely and maximize the floor. Interior doors zip open. Roll up and store out of the way using the elastic tie back. You can unclip the floor and push it back for more vestibule space or to protect it from rain when getting in and out. Use the interior clip and loop to hold the floor edge in the inward position. Eliminate slack in the sidewall by clipping up the lower glove hook located down the zipper chain. The Bofin 2 interior has dual pockets for phones, glasses, or other important gear. Apex vents clip closed for complete protection in windy rain. Additional tie-outs are found on the zipper flap, fly edge, arch pull sleeve, and at the base of the pitch lock plus strut ends. When rear storm flaps are closed, Tension them by clipping the midpoint glove hook to the ground level O-ring. Rear storm flaps can be left open and tied back, even in an overhead ring. To take down the Bofin II, remove the vestibule stakes. Then, release the tension on one of the pull tip pockets. Grab the arch pull sleeve past the halfway point and push the pull out of the sleeve. Fold the pull in half and then in half again until fully folded. Now fold up each pitch lock plus end. Grab the strut assembly with both hands. Use your thumb to pull the line lock lever down. Pull the cord all the way through and then fold the cross strut down and in with your other hand and thumb. Fold the assembly flat. Lay the assembly on the ground. 
fold the tent body in half until the strut assemblies align. Now fold the fabric in on itself until it all assumes the same width as the struts. Place the folded pole and stakes against the struts and roll tightly. Slide the fabric bundle into the stuff sack. Thanks for watching, and please don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions.